salesengineering.co.uk. Welcome to the Morning Sales Boost podcast, where we give solo founders a daily espresso shot to boost their sales today. And now your host, Chris Matthews. Good morning, sales boosters. Welcome to the Morning Sales Boost podcast. Welcome back. If you're a subscriber, all you guys here for the first time, this is a daily show. It's 10 to 15 minutes. It's a sales blast for you guys who are solo founders, solopreneurs, freelancers, SMEs, all you guys out there in the ether working on getting yourself out of that corporate kind of shindig. So we're basically a podcast. We don't have anything to sell, pitch or promote, even though we're a sales company. And as far as that's concerned, you've reached the end of my funnel. So I'm I'm here really to, to focus on your experience. I'm Chris, your host. Chief Sales Engineer at salesengineering.co.uk. My goal really is to help you become a better communicator and a wizard at articulating your business to new prospects or stakeholders and giving you strategies and structure for sales predictability on the way. Uh, With that said, let's get into today. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do an interactive episode. So um, around 70% of you guys are listening in on your phone. So if you could just take your phone out of your pocket for one second and we can get started. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a website and a product that I feel, (coughs) sorry, excuse me, that I feel is positioned particularly well. Uh, They do a very good job of their value propositions and the way that it's laid out is a very good sales structure, even though it's digital. So... I feel like we can we can really break this down and we can take a look and I can give you a good example of some of the ideas that I think it, it ticks the boxes of very well. So what we're going to do is open up your phone, open up your browser. Uh, apologies if you're listening on YouTube on your phone because I know how much of a pain it, in the butt side the YouTube app is for that kind of thing when you're trying to move away and listen to things. It doesn't like you're doing it. Where we're going to go to is we're going to go to typeform.com. That's T-Y-P-E-F-O-R-M.com. Just a quick note here. I'm, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Whether you choose to sign up with these guys does not benefit me at all. I'm just uh, appreciating what they do for a second. Alrighty. So if you get it, there should be a little T logo in the top with a little scribble around it. And that's their logo. So the reason I, I really love this is because I, I think it's got some magic ingredients that position it fantastically. It's a great app if you want to add some pizzazz to your booking system or your list growth or your your data collection and on a on a sort of local level particularly if you were to use something like this you're going to really stand out in a small market uh if you're on a big market you might find like mine for instance in podcasting you'll find that quite a lot of people are using this tool i can't remember exactly how i stumbled upon it probably in research for something for the website anyway Let's dive into it. First impressions. How you ask is everything. The versatile data collection tool for professionals, Typeform, makes asking easy and answering refreshing. And it's got this lovely picture of a a woman smiling. So my first impressions here, how you ask is everything. So it's really kind of, you know, very simple sales logic here. We're not going straight in with a benefit of a feature. We're going in with this sort of feeling how you ask is everything now one thing i want to point out here is you if you were to open up a conversation like this verbally then it probably wouldn't work on an outbound call cold call however digitally what we can almost assume is the, the way they've looked at this is that this is for inbound leads people who are already interested so we don't need to focus too much on benefits and features so how you ask is everything it really entices us with this picture of the smile i really like that uh, I mean, it's got this this elevator pitch. The verse, and it's very simple. Notice here how it's one or two. It's two sentences, and the the very simple. I think no more than one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So they've got no more than seven words in their elevator pitch. The versatile data collection tool for professionals. Type form makes asking easy and answering refreshing. So. What I really, really like about that is it relays very clearly what they do in layman's terms. It's a data collection tool, who it's for, professionals. That's very vague. 
you could say. You could say that's quite open, but maybe they've done that to encapsulate as many people as possible who can fall under that. Maybe they're, they're finding it, um, they want to not be so narrow with the, their market at this point. Maybe they found that's a good strategy. Type form makes asking easy and answering refreshing. So it kind of reinforces this feeling of what it's like to use their product with that smile there as well. So when we take a moment to actually read the elevator pitch, you know, that seems fair enough. I think you could actually start a conversation on a cold call with with that almost. Um, and especially at a networking event, it, it's got a lot to, it invites the, the why, the know, the how, you know. So, okay, I know what you do, but tell me a little bit more. Uh, if we scroll down again, here's another really important thing, right? And you need this for your outbound cold calls as well. So you elevate and then we got a straight away call up, call to action, sign up free. Because some people will say yes straight away. It's not going to happen all the time. I'd be interested to know how they do with this. But they, uh, they've definitely got it there. So this brings us on to their first value proposition. Get better data, which is pretty straightforward. Okay, get better data. And then if you look here, we've got three sections to this. Get better data, beauty, beautiful, conversational, easy, a friendly experience that invites more answers. So we got this kind of, again, a feeling of what it's like to use their product. And then we got this example here. So this is what I would call like a, a, a jab, 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 or Gary Vaynerchuk would call a jab, jab, jab. So we've got this idea, get better idea, get better data beautiful conversational easy friendly experience that invites more answers nice just adds a little bit to it keeping the best powder dry until you you're like oh, okay well how does that work and then you okay nice little example there cool then we got the second value proposition again tiered into three sections as i spoke about yesterday get conversational your personality our interface get to know your audience one person at a time and then we got this moving gif of a a um, of an image which again is another example so they're going with statement offering of a feeling and then they're supporting that with an example so they're really tying us in here i can feel it being reeled in get inspired so the, the third value proposition or what we could call their right hook is they're, they're offering us their referrals you know they're showing us these people who've, who've done well which is fantastic it's absolutely brilliant you, and you'll see this on loads of um websites which are doing very well they will show off their clients and they'll they'll show off a case study of how it's how how successful they've been using their product and then so from here we, we scroll a little bit down and we keep going if we keep going past the beauty and utility in a box which actually i don't think is is particularly necessary this is one thing that i would get rid of and something for every stage of the customer journey and they kind of display then how it can be applied so in a contact form quiz online shop customer for feedback form so you can actually see how it would be applied to you if you were collecting data um some other check out the other roles we could probably get rid of those if it wasn't them and now they fly into um so what they're what they're assuming here is that they've done enough of the work from if we scroll back up to the top how you ask is everything these statements get better data, get conversational, get inspired. So these free overview statements backed up with a little bit of pizzazz with the uh, statements of feeling underneath with a, an example as well. I would have thought by this point, most people would be, okay, yeah, I want to try this out. The website looks good. They seem to, they seem to uh, be enticing me in for sure. And then there's a followed by a little bit of stuff, which I think overcomplicates the whole process. And then... Only at this point do they decide to tell you what it actually does, the features and the benefits, which are cool. You know, some people well, some people are really techy with this stuff, and you've got to be really on the ball with exactly how your product works. But with these guys, they've they've left it at the bottom there, and I, I feel like that's a good good place for it. And then after that, they got your call to action, which is your free trial. Which, if you remember the other day, I was talking about getting to base one. It's not all about going for the home run straight away all the time so we got this no pressure uh option there so i think this i think honestly this page is fantastic uh they they tick a lot of boxes for me if you actually have a go on the free trial which i highly recommend of their product it's very very intuitive very intelligent and modern uh they sell this sort of idea of it being like that and you can customize things for your audience as a company 
they really tick sort of the three boxes which I think are important for being a, a company which is positioned fantastically. So the, the magic ingredients are this. They're innovative in nature. And you can you can see this. Like They invite you along for the journey. So there's a little bit in here about where they're going, about it being conversational. So they're not just a data collection tool. The data collection can also become conversational. And this is really something which is standing out in their market. There isn't many people... Maybe Google are doing something similar with their forms, but not to this level, not this specialized in a niche market. So they're super innovative and they kind of invite you along for this journey. So if you get their free trial, you'll also see what they're doing there with this pop-up, which actually says conversational experiment. So they're innovative by nature, not just in this one product. It's, innovation has to be something which is ongoing and then it can become a value proposition for yourself. Uh, the idea is completely defensible. It's their own bespoke technology. Um, it's completely intelligent. It's completely modern. It's going to be very hard for someone to directly replicate it. And at least if they wanted to, it's going to take a little bit of time to get up to the speed with where they are and capture their their part of the market. And again, in that, in from those two, it's disruptive. There are there are other competing products out there, but none which do so well in a way where they integrate with your website they look so good uh, at the same time so they're doing an absolutely fantastic job um i really wanted to show you it. i really wanted to show you this guy's website so i, I really hope you enjoyed this kind of interactive episode and we can certainly do more and again i think they just they demonstrate this this free tier overview after the elevator pitch which you can use in conversations for sure so this is pretty much my go-to sales tactic whenever i'm on the phone outgoing You've obviously got your elevator pitch, which is inviting no's and more questions. And that allows you to open up the conversation with the other person you're speaking to. And then when they start asking you about the product and service, you have these tiered value propositions, which you can fly over and you can then try and close for a call to act through a call to action. Or you can present them in such a way where you go over them and you know that they're going to ask you more questions, but you've got different tiers under different columns. So... I might be asked, let's go, if we go up to tier one, so where they've got get better data, you know. So, I, you know, I might say something along the lines of, well, we collect data better than anybody else. And that's in, that's kind of inviting them to say why. And then I can, the web, what the website does here is it, it shows them how they collect better data. It gives an example and it offers you a free trial at no pressure. Thank you very much. You know, that seems to make sense to me. Oh, and by the way, you know, we are also very innovative with working on this conversational platform, which can do this, 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 and this, la, 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 la. And you can just carry on and then they fire it home with that right hook of a no pressure free trial. I think it's awesome. They've done a very good job. And for me, it really reflects what you can do offline, online. It's just obviously there's some little differences here with the um, the pictures and things like that. Unfortunately, we have to portray those feelings with our voices and how we give off that energy as who we are as people who associate with this company which says certain things about us. So we don't have the luxury of pictures on a telephone call, but they've done it very well. So cool. I hope you appreciate that. I hope you got something from that. And if you can model your own website to... Uh, offer its own value propositions like this and i think you you'll do very well okay well that, that's a wrap so we are friday the 24th of august 2018 again guys thank you very much for the reviews they keep coming i'm so happy the podcast is doing fine we're just about to cross 220 i think 220 listens which is fantastic i'm so happy to have all of you listening as individuals is just me and you. Uh, I got some exciting stuff happening with sales engineering. Um, if you've got any questions, again, fire them my way. My email inbox is always open. I'll always respond. Chris at salesengineering.co.uk. All right, we'll wrap it up there. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. God, this week's gone quick. All right, have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Daily Sales Boost podcast. See you bright and early at 6.45 tomorrow.